Hi guys, so today I'm in a new location. This is a spare bedroom at my husband's house. So if anyone knocks, that might be why, because they don't know I'm in here. They don't know I'm filming. Um, just because, yeah, they just got home and they're all busy. So I figured this would be a great time to do it. Um, I'm just going to show you the makeup I brought home for the holidays. Um, we were going to be away from our apartment for 18 days. We were going to travel a few times in between there. So again, I couldn't bring like a huge thing because I was going to have to bring it in the car and stuff like that to a few different places so I was trying to be conservative and I tried <laughs> and it's 18 days and I didn't know exactly what we were going to do those 18 days so these are kind of like basic products there's like maybe one or two more specialty items but yeah we'll just get started I actually brought two mini primers because I wasn't sure how many how much was in either of these because I've used them before but I didn't want to run out because I really like primers and these are the easiest primers to take because they're so little and they just have a screw on lid and it just works perfectly. So the first one is That Gal um, by Benefit, just a mini primer. Just looks like this and I love it. It just comes out pink and so that's the first one. I think they both actually come out pink. The next one is the Professional, also by Benefit. So yeah, there's just two little Benefit primers and then the tool one of the tools I brought is a beauty blender I use this for either for both the primers and for the um, face products which I'll show you in a minute but yeah, I really like it two face products I brought the first one is a foundation and then the other one is a BB cream I just got the BB cream so I wasn't sure how it was gonna work but I love this foundation it is the covergirl nature looks foundation and I'm in bamboo it just looks like this. It's such a natural, pretty um, foundation. Mine's a little dirty, um, but it has SPF 10 in it, and I really like it. The other one is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. And it's just this, and it's really cool, and I really like it. Um, this one, I believe, is in light. It just gives you color. It's just a wonderful BB cream. I'm in love with BB creams. I really like the Skin 79 one I have, but it doesn't have a lid in it. You push on it, and so this was the easiest one to bring, and I've been really liking it. I love BB creams because they moisturize. They give you some color, um, but they don't look cakey. I don't like cakey looks on your face, even during the holidays. I'd rather have my like pimples show just a little bit, like have a little red mark because everyone's going to have pimples every once in a while, you know? And I'd rather have that show than look like I have a cake face, so that's why I like BB cream. I brought almost two of everything. Um, there's a few things I didn't, but the next thing was concealer. And so the first one is the Complete Coverage Concealer by e.l.f. It just looks like this. And I've been using this one a lot, especially underneath my eyes. Um, so that's that. The next one is the Rimmel Match Perfect Concealer and Highlighter. This looks like this, and I believe I got mine in the lightest one, which is 125 Fair. But I really like it. Um, it just has a little brush and just comes out um, like that. So I really like this. The next thing I'll show you is just this Kabuki brush I got from Target. And yes, it's disgusting. Um, like I said, 18 days. I've kind of tried to wash it, um, but it hasn't. I don't have like brush cleaner with me, so it hasn't worked too terribly well. But I've kind of tried to like wash it but then again I use it every day so I really need to wash all the brushes I brought when I get home really bad so ignore that but that's what I brought next thing I brought is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is just in translucent I really like this again because I don't like having cakey or like powdery substances on my face obviously I've used this a lot I really really like it and I'm really glad I brought this the next thing I use which like I said I become I become very pale in the winter um, I like using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer to kind of get fake color all over my face and I kind of like bring it, you know, down if I'm wearing a lower shirt, kind of like bring it down so I don't look super pale. Um, so I just kind of use this as a bronzer but then a little bit as like an all over face add color, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but sometimes I'll use this as a bronzer and other times I'll just use it as just add color to my face which I really like this and I feel like it's really pigmented and um, that's what it looks like. It's just perfect, it doesn't look money, and I really enjoy it. So, um, the next thing is a MAC blush in Love Thing, and I think I got this on accident. Like, I didn't want this one, but I clicked on it. 
I don't know because I don't ever remember ordering this but it came and I looked at my order and it didn't say love things so I don't really know but it's a really pretty color I've been really liking it um, for the winter time because it's just a really pigmented berry color yeah that's so pigmented so um I really like it I have to be really light handed I am wearing it today I don't know if you're going to be able to tell in this lighting but I am wearing it today Last thing that's like a face product is the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Honey Dipped. And I got this in my Birch Box, I think like two years ago. And if you want to know, if you notice I haven't been doing Birch Box, I can link the What Happened to Birch Box video down below. I still really like it. Yes, I did get this in my Birch Box and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous and it's shimmery and I really like it. Um, I kind of mix a little bit with the blush sometimes and it just gives like a shimmery golden berry color obviously. I really like it and I enjoy doing that because they both have like some shimmer and it's good for the holidays to have some shimmer. I was going to be gone for 18 days. I was trying to decide if I wanted to bring an eye primer or a cream eyeshadow or anything like that. Like I was just trying to decide. I was having a hard time. I have a really hard time packing so um, I decided to bring the e.l.f. duo cream shadow in sugar cookie because I decided that this is a perfect shimmery color, like sparkle shimmer, and this one's just a beautiful shimmer color, and I really like these. Um, they're perfect. They keep your eyeshadows on uh, not a super long time because, again, like they're a cream eyeshadow, not a primer, so they're not supposed to act like a primer, but they still do keep your eyeshadows in place for, for quite a while, um, and I really enjoy that. And the only eyeshadow I brought, I know, I am obsessed with eyeshadow and I only brought one eyeshadow, I know, but is the Naked Urban Decay palette. I love it so much. Um, it's perfect for these kind of trips because it has the matte colors in it. Let's see if I, obviously you've probably seen this before, but if you haven't, this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous and I've had it for probably about a year. Um, I don't use it a lot when I'm at my house just because I have a lot of other eyeshadows and I don't reach for it as much but when I travel this is the first thing I take out like let's bring this and then other time I might add like a, an eyeshadow another eyeshadow like single or something with it but this is perfect because it has 12 eyeshadows in it and they are pretty neutral and I like when you're going to be gone for 18 days you can't like just pick you know pink eyeshadow um, but it has, you know, some blues and some dark, brighter colors down here. And then super neutral, some shimmers. And I like shimmers, so I am all for this. I did bring two mascaras, but that is because I wear two mascaras almost every day. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Full Definition Volume. And I believe this is just in very black. Let's make sure. Yes, it's in black as black. And this one is a very wet formula, so if you do not like wet formulas, I would not recommend this. But I really like it. Um, it makes a mess. But it is awesome. I use it on my bottom and my top lashes. I'm going to see if I can show you. This is on the bottom and the top of my lashes. And I really like it. And then the other one I use is the... Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara and again I think this is in the blackest black. I always get the blackest black just because my eyelashes are brown and I want them to stand out and I feel like the only way they stand out is if I get the darkest one. But this is on the top and I'll show you the wand. It's awesome. It's just a curved wand and I really like it. Um, I feel like it gets all over my lashes and it just is able to curl them up because I don't again I don't curl my eyelashes. Um, but I really like the way this and these go together. They're both kind of wet formulas though, to be honest. L'Oreal for sure, um, at least over time, has become a wet formula because I've had it for a little while now. So and the next thing I'm gonna show you is lip products. And if you wanna see all the lip products I brought because it's in my What's In My Purse video that I filmed, I believe um, during Thanksgiving break, but it still has the same things in it, I believe. There might be one or two additions, but I will cover those in my December favorites. But I can link it down below and you can see all of the um, lip products I brought. I'm just going to mention the Berry Smoothie Revlon Lip Butter because this is what's on my lips today. And all this stuff, obviously, I'm wearing because I'm still at my husband's house and this is all the makeup I brought. So, FYI, if, if you're curious, I'm not wearing all of it, but... 
most of it. So this is what it looks like. Gorgeous berry color. I like it because this has been in my coat pocket so when we went and visited his family um, after Christmas I just put this in my coat and we went with snow all over the ground and this kept my lips moisturized and looking nice like it was just awesome and I'm so excited. So yes this is the lip product that I've been liking the most. That's pretty much the makeup I brought. That might sound like a lot, it might not. Um, it's 18 days. Um, so, I mean, I did bring two, a, little, a few things, but I do use um, two mascaras every day, two concealers, because one for like underneath my eyes and one for the pimples that happen. And yeah, so I do tend to use most of the products every day. Obviously the primer again I don't use, and then the BB cream and foundation I kind of switch off. But yeah, that is the makeup I brought. I hope you enjoyed this, and you let me know if you've tried any of these and you really like them, or if you recommend something for travel. Um, because I do come home um, not very often, but when I do, I don't want to pack a lot and because I don't have a lot of space when we come back um, for holidays. Um, the summertime we will, but during the holidays I just, we won't, we don't. So yeah, if you have any recommendations for travel, let me know down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!